Alright guys, this is Wayne. Mini update on my project. Uh, the motor came in yesterday. And it's uh, rather big. It's bigger than what I thought. Uh, I was going to put it right here, but it's so big and heavy i having a little problem with that. So, I'm thinking if I come up off the bottom of the unit and put it right here into the chain. See, I don't know if you can see that. Like that, see? And the, the, then, you know, as it spins, oops, it would spin the chain as well. Uh, the problem with that is, or actually part of a solution, because I'm a little concerned over the speed that it's going to go, whether it's going to wear these bearings out in this wheel or whatever. So if I mount down there, it'll be a one-to-one -one ratio with this big wheel and the motor. And the uh, 7 to 1 ratio doesn't matter anymore with that uh, bigger wheel. So I'm thinking about trying it that way. There's the five batteries because I got a little crazy and that's a 60 volt motor. 1000 watt. Oh, uh, that's a permanent magnet motor by the way. And I did this little test a moment ago. I wanted to show you. Basically, that motor is the same thing as this permanent magnets and it's gonna uh, make the coils uh, so I put it on DC voltage and I'm gonna spin the wheel and it's going to turn the wheel on the motor and it also develops voltage so that's pretty cool anyway that's where I'm at. That's my control panel. Yep. Peace.